Good morning, everyone. It's 6.45 a.m. I'm exhausted. <laughs> My mom left yesterday to go back to Texas, and when I came back home after dropping her off, I found this little note that she left for me, and it made me start crying. <laughs> I'm a very emotional person, so it was just a really good trip, and I'm really glad that she got to come out for as long as she did, because she was here from March 9th all the way through the 21st, which in the grand scheme is a pretty long time. This morning I'm pouring this matcha green tea almond latte over a cup of ice. I'm not in the mood for like cold brew today, so this is what we're gonna have. But first I need to shake it up. I've been obsessed with this brand called Pop and Bottle. They also have like a cold brew almond latte and that one is phenomenal. So we're just gonna pour that over. And yeah, the ingredients in here are all super organic and there's not that many. Okay. Mm, oh my gosh. Honestly, it kind of tastes like Thai tea, if any of y'all know what that is. Like a boba. All right, so here's the plan. Tomorrow I leave for spring break. Tomorrow's my birthday also, if you can believe that. I am gonna be 19 years old and so I'm going to be going up to McCall on a little road trip with one of my best friends and then her boyfriend, we're gonna be staying at his house. And McCall, Idaho is like two hours, I wanna say, from where I live in Boise. It's beautiful up there and it's gonna be a lot of snow and I'm really, really just excited to be with them and present. Yeah, they're so sweet. Matcha just ate his food, so that's, he's taken care of. Today is gonna be all about prepping for spring break. I need a pack, obviously, but I also have some things that I wanna do just for myself. At 8 a.m., some workers are coming by. They're fixing some things in my house that are like on the punch hole list. And then I do wanna go to the gym at some point today, get in a little bit of a workout, like a bar workout. I went to the rec the other day and because it's spring break here, nobody was there and it was so nice. So I'm hoping to go again and have nobody there. Also, I could probably film my workout if there's no one there. Might try to knock out some homework, who knows, we'll see. But today's gonna be a good day. Yesterday was Kind of a crappy day, um, feeling all the things, but today is gonna be a great day. And so is tomorrow. I can't believe I'm gonna be 19 years old. I just got home from the gym and this is my lunch for today. Don't ask me where it all goes because this is a big freaking plate. I eat a lot and I really love food. So we've got a Caesar salad, some potatoes, and then a chicken in heaven right now. Currently doing my makeup right now with matcha. I think today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. I had such an amazing workout today. I got a chance to call one of my friends when I was walking on the treadmill. And that was really nice because we just kind of debriefed and I feel like time goes by way quicker whenever I'm on the phone with my friends or my parents. Oh, hello. Matcha wants to be the center of attention today and I'm okay with it. I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really sad now that my mom is gone. I feel like I'm sitting here with my thoughts <laughs> And I don't know, it's just like really weird, especially adding the fact that I am single now. It's just like, luckily I have matcha and I will be going home for Easter, which is gonna be so nice because I miss my dad and my dad didn't get to come up when my mom did. 
So I'll get to see him as well as my mom. And then I'll get to see Miss Rhonda and her family and also Leo and Lacey. I'm so, so excited. And I'm bringing matcha. This will be his first time traveling on an airplane. I think what I want to do is take him on a walk. I'm thinking maybe we can go downtown. We could go to a coffee shop and just knock out some homework, but you never know. Sometimes they let dogs in and sometimes they don't. This mascara is growing on me every single day. Like I really genuinely love this one. Let's go on a walk. I finished my makeup. This is what we're rocking with. I wear the same outfits in every video. It's kind of bad. I just, when it's winter, you can't really do that much with your wardrobe. And so I, I know that I wear this all the time. It's just really, really freaking comfy. Okay, I'm gonna pack a bag for matcha and all of his things. But my friend just texted me like the sweetest text ever about her situationship going on right now with this guy. And I just love like cheering my friends on and hearing all the good things that are happening to them because I think it would be really, really sad if like right now, I don't know, there was like nothing joyful in life. And I just, I don't know, I love seeing my friends happy. All right, I'm just gonna bring this little canvas tote bag. His harness is in here, his leash, a poop bag, and then a little toy in case he wants it. I think that's all we need. I kind of want to go get a coffee right now. I know I shouldn't, but like, I'm gonna be out anyways, so I think we should get a coffee. I'm like a big gum girly. I need it at the airport, I need it in the car at all times, and I just always have gum with me. So I need to share my favorite one. I just got a new pack from Albertsons the other day, but it is the extra long lasting flavor refreshers in the flavor polar ice. So, so good, it's sugar free, but let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about where when you bite into gum and it's really hard on your teeth and it's just not soft. And then once you start popping bubbles with it and doing things like that, your tongue, like it's hard to move it. This is the softest gum ever, I'm obsessed. So I gotta say. Amazon also sent me these cute new glasses. I'm in love with them. They're green, which I never would think to get green sunglasses, but they've been my new favorite thing. All right, let's bump to some music. It is stunning outside today. Definitely not as sunny as I was wanting it to be. Oh, matcha. <laughs> He's getting wrapped around this pole, but can't complain. So happy that winter's over. I decided that I'm gonna surprise my friend Kaylee. She works at Starbucks and she has no idea, but I'm gonna surprise her with matcha and we're gonna go get some coffee. too hard right now so it's currently raining outside and dreadful weather i took a nap i feel rejuvenated revived matcha also took a nap with me and then i talked on the phone with my friend Layton, who I haven't seen since Christmas. I'm really excited because I'm gonna go back to Texas, obviously, for Easter, and I'm gonna get to see all my friends again, which I'm, like, counting down the days for. I wanted to share some snacks that I'm gonna be bringing on my road trip tomorrow, so we're just gonna go through that really quick. Basically, I got these scones at Whole Foods. They are raspberry English tea scones. I'm gonna bring this for us. And then I have these grain-free cinnamon churro strip chips. If y'all have ever had these, they're very, very good. I'm gonna bring some almonds as well. Now I actually have to start packing because tomorrow we're leaving the house at eight, which means that they're coming over earlier and I need to pack still. So let's go grab my suitcase from the very bottom floor and we're just gonna start packing. 
So this is what we're working with. I just dumped a bunch of clothes onto the ground of my closet and we're just gonna pack in here because I don't want to bring everything out there and then pack there. Okay, so the goal is to get all of this to fit into this suitcase. This girl is beat up. I mean, look at this. She has been through the ringer. Next time I get a suitcase, it's not gonna be white. That was my first mistake, not doing that again. Basically in McCall, it is very, very cold right now. Whatever weather is here right now, it's amplified like times 10 in McCall. So it's very, very snowy there right now. And tomorrow I think it's gonna snow again. So it's gonna be really cold, which means we're packing for cold weather. We're not packing for summer. However, the only thing that I am packing for summer is swimsuits because there's hot springs and just in case we go to one. We'll start off with the swimsuits. I've got this swimsuit top from H&M, two pairs of black bottoms. This one's more cheekier than these ones. You never know. Then I've got this super cute blue swimsuit from Black Bow Swim. Or no, just kidding, from Dippin' Daisies. And I'm obsessed with it. Haven't worn this one yet. Socks and underwear and my sports bras, regular bras, that all has to go in here. Next, I'm bringing two pairs of leggings. I've got my Align leggings right here. And I'll also be wearing my Wonder Unders. For tops, I have this turtleneck from Polo Ralph Lauren. Obsessed, this is like one of my favorite tops because of how classy it looks. Another top I will be bringing is also a turtleneck and this is from Princess Polly. It's like a cropped tan one. Super duper soft and really cozy. I feel like this would be a good house outfit. Like if we don't end up going outside that day, that would be a really good one to wear. Another top. This one is blue and it's from Urban Outfitters. It's got this little circle keyhole in the middle. Very, very soft. Feels like butter touching it. As for pants, I have two pairs that I'm going to be bringing on top of my leg. First, I've got American Eagle cargo pants, but they're not really cargo all the way because they're still pretty lightweight and movable, almost like a legging material, but I've gotten so many questions on where this pair is specifically from. Next pair of jeans is also from American Eagle. These are mid to low rise and they're boot cut jeans, which is really cute. I've been really into boot cut jeans lately, especially wearing them with cute platform boots. Then I'm going to be bringing a little sweater. This is from Target, and it's just a burnt orange sweater. I think this would be really good to wear just around the house. And then last thing that I have out, Matcha's chewing right now, and it's a beanie from Lululemon. So those are all the clothes that I'm gonna wear. I feel like I should bring a dress just in case because we might do like a birthday dinner. So I'm actually gonna pick out a dress really quick. I'm gonna do this gray Aritzia dress. I'm gonna do some toiletries right now and then I'll do the rest tomorrow once I finish getting ready. I also need to pick out the outfit that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. It has to be cute because it's my actual birthday. This is where I keep pretty much all of my extra bags for toiletries and things like that. This is always my go-to for makeup. This one, always the go-to for my skincare and my shampoo and conditioner. And then I always use a Glossier one for my makeup brushes. I'm not gonna pack my makeup yet because I'm gonna need to obviously do it tomorrow before the road trip, but I will pack my toiletries right now. So as I'm doing my skincare, I'm gonna place the products in here. For shampoo and conditioner, this is what I've been using. This is the Day Monsoon Moisture Shampoo and then the Monsoon Moisture Conditioner. Both so, so good. To start off, I am using the Micro Professional Cleansing Pad from the brand Clio. This is a Korean beauty brand and I've been obsessed with these pads because they get all the makeup off in like one swipe and it leaves your face feeling hydrated and not super stripped. My favorite cleanser, it's the Osmo Osmosis MD Purify Enzyme Cleanser. I'll just do one pump of that. My shirt is all a mess right now. Verso Cleansing Balm with Jehovah Beads. Just put some on my hands and then just really massage it onto my face. This is super soft, like it's not a hard exfoliant and I really focus on my T-zone area. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my L'Occitane. I think this is how you pronounce it, the L'Occitane Moisturizing Cream. Usually I use the Caudalie Intense Moisturizing Cream, but I ran out of that, and right as I was about to go get a new one, L'Occitane sent over a package, and I was like, okay, wait, I need to try this out and give it a go. And this is a really good moisturizer. I will say, this is a close second to the Caudalie one. I'm not gonna brush my teeth yet because I want to make a cup of tea upstairs, but we need to put 
the skincare in the bag. This always happens. I make a mess every single time I wash my face. Blue light glasses are going on because my contacts are now out. Hello. Hi. Matcha's crate is going to be going in the car with us, but that's tomorrow's problem. So I'm going to put some toys, keypads, and treats into a bag for him just to kind of get him all situated and ready for the road trip. I have to share the cutest sweater that I got from Matcha at this pet store. Look at how adorable it is. I made a peppermint tea from Trader Joe's and this always is like the best type of tea to drink before you go to bed. Also really good for digesting and calming your stomach down for the night. So that's why I'm drinking it. I'm gonna do some journaling just to kind of close the night off and recap on the things that have been happening in the life of Caroline Manning. I've tried to make it a priority to really focus on my journaling and actually do it because I've had this since March of 2022 and it's still not even halfway filled up. And I thought for sure that I would have at least three of these by this time, which is a year later, but I just, you know, I've taken a lot of breaks. The other day though, I did go back and read a lot of my entries and it's crazy how much I have covered and the things and events that have happened in my life yeah time goes by really quickly but then when you sit back and think about it you know there's a lot that can happen that makes time feel like it's not going by quickly at all so hopefully I have a pen in here I'm gonna finish responding to some work duties right now. Luckily, I can do all of this from my phone, but I'm gonna finish drinking my cup of tea and I'm gonna go to bed because we've got an early day tomorrow and I want to make sure that I can still film and get all of my stuff put together since we are taking my car. I did clean out my car, I just didn't film that. This is gonna be the first road trip with matcha. Kinda nervous, not gonna lie but I'm really excited and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can stop at either Dutch Bros or Starbucks because it's my birthday and I get a free drink. I'm gonna end the video here. I never formally end my videos anymore, which I miss doing that and it feels weird not doing it, so here we go. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, don't do anything. I love y'all so much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video, which should be my 19th birthday vlog. Ciao.